Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. Uh, this is Encik Zihad. So, thank you for the students that have submit your answers for assignment 1. So, today we will continue to next uh, part that is CAT, CATIA, assembly and drafting. As previously, you have done your wireframe and surface design learning by online. So, today we will start with the CAT, CATIA, assembly and drafting. You can check in week 10 starting from today. Click it. Let's start one by one. Where I have one, two, three, four a task that you can check. First is watch my YouTube video here. I will upload it. I will upload this video later. So now you can refer my PDF presentation here. Just click it. You go to my OneDrive for Business link. Okay, so this is our presentation for today. Go to the next page. Activity for today is start with learning assembly and drafting in uh, roughly 30 minutes. It's about assembly design, icon, also history tree, why is important of history tree in the product and how to insert product in an assembly. The list about constraints, how to fix, then constraints, that's the steps to do the assembly process and safe as it's not a usual safe as it will be using use safe management to save files in assembly uh, next you got to complete assembly workshop 7.1 and also you need to complete 8.2 drafting part in assembly later you can download the assignment and as usual is key in the attendance so let's go to this page so this is an assembly we can see this is a turbine engine on an aircraft so this is an assembly of parts they have made okay so they are in this is 33 it has it assembly main file and it has parts and also it have also products and later we have parts inside Okay, so this is in an assembly workbench. So as usual, uh, you can hover your mouse over here. This is a red colored uh, circles. When you hover your mouse here in Katia Design uh, software, you can have this uh, labels appears like this. We go to this. This is assembly. So this is, we are in assembly design. So some of the students ask me where is the sketch? So there are no sketching uh, I cannot find my sketch or I cannot find my tools to sketch. So at this point you need to check where you are in the workbench. Because there are many workbench in Katia so you can always you should always look at top right corner and hover your mouse here this is assembly design so you cannot find any sketch or any sketching tools or option here okay so this is here is assembly design all right so in assembly design also there are few notes that is this green circles over here this is a uh, constraints okay, when you pull in parts inside an assembly you have you need to have constraint so that it will fix between uh, each other components or each other parts right so as me design icon as usual as i can i show you before this there are two gears okay, you can go to start mechanical design so this is the assembly design over here okay below the part design so you got assembly design there are two gears Okay, while part design will only have one gears, so as we design have two gears. You can see clearly there. Let's come back to the open presentations. History tree. As usual, we have history tree over here. So this history tree will list out the components or part that you have inserted, and also it will show you the problem or issues. If you got problem with your assemblies over here. Okay. and then inserting product let's say you want to insert product 
Okay. So please remember this icon is for to insert existing component. You can see here if I hover my mouse over here, you can show it. See, remember my tips. There are tips and for each of icons, if you put it here, you will say insert an existing component. Let's click there. So select a component which the existing component will be inserted. We will click product one. Uh, any component right okay let's say we have assembly for of engine assembly you can click ctrl for this so this is how we insert the component or parts into an assembly Okay, so now parts are inserted. Uh, we need to set this icon to be in standard position so to customize so it will not get in our way. And as I mentioned before, we can uh, exercise to put the icon in standard so that later we, if we use other computer so we can we are familiar with that All right so mine got this one we can make it to just close it for now this penetration has got nothing to do with the assembly All right so these are the components that are inserted constraint fixed and constraint that's the the steps and using safe as you safe management okay let's look about constraints okay as in the tutorial there are two uh, way okay to move object first is you can use this mandatory parameters okay this is X so if we drag either any of the part it will drag into X directions or Y it will drag to Y directions of okay. this Zex the movie Z. Okay. Clicking OK it will move the parts as in the current positions. Or we can use this compass. So just hover your mouse on this red dots, put it any on any of the components that you want to move, such as this. This is the piston head. So it is showing green yes you can click on any line that is highlighted and drag it so it will move your parts that or you can also can click any of the parts I, I, I click the con rod and when I highlight lines so it will move the con rod so there are two situations here. This is a green highlighted color, so that so it shows that we are clicking a part. But there are also switch into gray color like this. So this is in which we are not selecting any parts. Okay, so when we are not selecting any parts. It will turn into gray. Okay. So we can use this later. So we just put it back. I usually. Uh, use this uh, when I want to move parts easily like this Just click it right here and return it back okay so again showing you how to use this okay let it uh, return to its original locations so first is fix so uh, in an assembly you need to fix parts one part need to fix if you don't fix it uh, it's not a proper way to do it so you need to find the icon so you have this double arrow so it's showing that it is hidden so drag click and drag move it here okay so this is in the 
me show the tools okay in the constraints window or tools so this is got constraint constraints okay contact constraints so this is offset constraint angle constraints and fixed component fix together fixing two parts together so let's fix component so in an assembly usually have one part that is not moving so it is fixed so let's pick one part that is this engine block so you can either click here engine block and click this to constraint so or you, vice versa you can click this constraint and click this engine block okay so it's now a fixed part over there right Mm. Okay, show you the constraints. Okay, this is the constraint. Constraint. How you can, how you can use this is, you can align uh, parts that have shaft or that have reference axis. Let's say I want to arrange this reference shaft to here. So how? We can click constraint constraint key read these steps or help select the first geometric element of the constraint constraint a point a line or a plane. So usually use this to align axis. So this is the axis for this one, and we should have this axis here over here. But if you don't uh, get it like this. So you can zoom in and get a better view and click this there. So you need to click this update all or you can click control plus U to update. Click this one that will move it. So we have aligned uh, the crankshaft to the engine block. Now we can move it this crankshaft to this engine block by using any of the constraint so we can use this offset constraint also Let's click here and here edit offset for zero okay so this is the parts that we have uh, assembled okay the crankshaft and also the engine block i'll show you one the other processes let's link this to this one so we have two circles this smaller circle and the bigger circle so this big circle should be located or aligned to this uh, shaft you can see that there are two shaft this is the longer one this is the smaller one so this uh, conrad should line with this Again, clicking update. Okay, you can see mine. Right. Okay, this is inside there. Alright, so we can again put the dimensions or offset from this part to this part that is 2 mm. Update. Okay. So next, we'll assemble this piston to this engine block, shaft, okay, so you can see that this hole should be aligned with this part, update, and the other one is the pin. okay and a bit so this is the full assembly for the one part 